hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to create a minimal web api using dot net 8 and visual studio 2022 uh, so i will do all the uh, get put post delete all these operations basically the crowd operations and uh, i will use endpoint explorer that is as part of visual studio 2022 uh, how to you know that i can use and show you how to invoke this web api or test this uh, web api okay so i will not be using swagger for this uh, tutorial so it will be uh, the endpoint explorer now if you want to download .NET 8 and install and also if you want to download visual studio 2022 and you want to learn how to do it then i will provide the links in the description and you can follow those uh, video tutorials so once you have visual studio 2022 open it and you can see a screen like this so click on create a new project here search for asp.net web api and you will find this empty template yeah so click on this and then the next button uh, give a name to your api as a uh, product minimal api minimal api and uh, you can give whatever location you want to store your uh, solution and project and then click on next button here i have dotnet 8 installed so i have selected uh, it, it, it is selected by default if you have dotnet 7 you can select that as well or else you can you know select dotnet 8 do not check these boxes so leave it as it is click on create now you can see the uh, project has been created and uh, you can see there are no files basically only this program.cs only one csa file and uh, rest all like json and other you know uh, these files but uh, so this is this uh, example will not use controllers although you can use controllers as well uh, in minimal, minimal api but here i am not going to use controllers so i will show you how you can create all the methods without using a controller let's click on this program.cs and you can see here that uh, there is very a few lines of code uh, the default is uh, this one so let's run it first and see what's what 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 is going to be displayed in the browser right so basically when we run it you should see hello world in your browser right as you can see hello world is displayed here which means the project is created correctly and it is able to display this hello world now stop this in this example what i am going to do is i am going to create a product entity class and then i will be creating a product service class and that will have some operations which will basically return uh, all the products or add the products or update or delete the products okay those kind of operations will be part of that service and then we will invoke that product service from our program.cs so let's first create a product class so right click your project click on add and class give the name as product so in product uh, let's create few methods called as public int id then public string name and then public float price get set and here let's make it available so this is your product entity class let's create a product service class now so again right click and add a class name it as product service so here first we have to create a list object internally we'll use this list list object to store all the products and whatever manipulations we want to do with the uh, product we we will use, use we, we can do that using this list object so private read only list of product so this is the class which which we uh, just now created uh, then declare a local variable called as underscore product so let's say products equal to new list product so this is our uh, 
so this will be our you know list list object now let's go to the next step and create few uh, methods right so first is the public i enumerable of type product and name it as get all products so whatever products are there we will return a list of all those products okay so and then underscore products so similarly you add uh, uh, the other uh, methods uh, for like get product by id uh, and then add product update product and delete product so the code will look something like this so get product by id so accepts a id parameter and then it will return it will it will find the particular id in the products list and whatever match is found it will return that value similarly add product will uh, add a product to the list okay here we are incrementing the id as well similarly update product so here uh, it will again find the particular id which uh, has to be updated so that product will be uh, it will be searched in the products list uh, once the match is found which is existing product then the update will happen here okay so whatever name and price has been sent that will be updated in the existing product so that is how you update a product similarly delete product so delete product accepts id parameter and then you find the id uh, with uh, with that product and then delete that product so this is the code okay let's now go to the program.cs now let's add uh, the crowd operations in our program.cs uh, class so to the uh, so let's first declare a variable uh, which is the instance of the product service so underscore let's say so it is underscore product service equal to new product service okay so now we have the product service instance so using this we can invoke the methods which we have written inside the implementation methods which we have written inside product service so here use the app dot map get and within brackets and then within this uh, within this uh, inverted commas you have to write api slash products so that's my uri so here let's first use the get all and then product service underscore the product service dot get all products and then close the statement so this so whenever someone calls this particular endpoint uh, they will so we will return all the list of products that we have right now we don't have anything so obviously we'll get empty result but i'll show you how to add it using this add operations now next one is again let's copy this and in this case we are passing a id so you have to first add the id here and then within brackets outside within brackets i have to say int id and then my product service instance dot get product by id and pass the id which is passed by the client and then close the statement right so we have to get methods now let's add a post method so map post again let 
let's copy this and it's time we have to use a we have to add it so the product will be sent by the client so the implementation will be a little bit different here within bracket product so product and then so post and here we will use the uh, underscore product service instance dot add product and then pass the product so the the product which is passed by the client we are just going to pass the same product let's close this okay. now we can also return a result here so return dot results dot uh okay Let's see sorry so the implementation will be written results dot now let's return some result here so return space results dot created and here we have to provide a path so it will be slash api slash products and then so here we have to pass the id so we'll pass the id back so which will be product dot id so product dot id and use a the braces here a capital i yes product id and then comma and here pass the product instance okay right so we have the add in add method implementation like this and the next thing is the update which is the put uh, app dot map put and we can copy this so there is the put and then product and then updated or updated product yeah right so here we have to then add the implementation close this and underscore product service dot update update product okay perhaps it should be updated product sounds better but yeah update product is also fine so update product and pass the updated product here here again results dot created and uh, we will do the same thing so let's copy this paste and uh, instead of product.id it will be updated product.id and this will be updated product right so that's the implementation of the update and the next one is to add delete yeah so app dot delete map delete 
and let's again copy this and we have to pass a id so id here and uh comma within brackets int id and uh, equal to braces so here we have to call the delete product so product service dot delete product pass the id so now this is called and we can actually return here uh, return here the all the products basically after deletion how the how does this looks like right so we can pass all the products back to the client so this is the implementation now so delete put post get so everything is done let's build it and see if we have we are getting any errors so build is successful run it so you can see the hello world which so it means this this is running and now keep it running okay don't stop it keep it running because we want to now test it so go to your view and other windows here you will see endpoints explorer so click this so endpoint endpoint explorer comes up now once the endpoint uh, endpoint explorer is open uh, you have to generate requests so that uh, using uh, this endpoint explorer we can uh, test this uh, api right so right click and generate request so do this for all these different endpoints right so you can see that a, a file has been created called as the you know project name dot http and this file is our uh, this is which will contain the test data and using this we will test the api so let's first test the first uh, endpoint and we will get a blank here because there is no data we can see 200 okay which means it is success but there is no data so let's add some uh, some data so this is the test data so where we are adding one item let's send a request and now you can see it has been created successfully let's add one more item number two and let's say it is 20 send request and again this has been created number three and let's say this is 15 and so one more item has been created let's now call uh, this get method and you can see all the methods has been written all the products has been returned right so so we have now tested two methods right so two endpoints get and post so let's now do a update uh, for for update update we can use a similar kind of thing uh, we just have to add the id here so id and uh, let's say we want to update number two and here we will name it as let's say phone 10 okay so you can see now this has been updated let's verify it so what we can do again we can do this get all and you can see now this has been updated to phone number two so similarly let's see if we can retrieve uh, some certain things through the id get by id so call one and it should return only the first item similarly two and it is returning the second item like this right let's now test the delete endpoint so delete let's delete the number one and delete so now number one has been deleted and only two items has been returned so this is what is now left in the product list so you can again verify it uh, by going here and click on send request you can see the same thing is getting written so that is how all the different http methods can be tested using this endpoint explorer hope you have liked this video so if so uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you